Today we're going to review the Bouge RV 30 quart portable fridge and refrigerator. It's an electric hard sided cooler that comes with a 12 volt car adapter and a standard electric connection to keep your cooler cold or frozen for however long you want for any type of trip. We're talking camping, boating, RVing, car trip, uh, hotel stay. Uh, you name it, this thing has come with us camping, it's come with us to Vegas, it's come with us on summer vacation. Uh, we literally do not leave home without it anymore. Um, it is electrical, so you need to keep it powered up. Um, so you're, you're gonna need to get some sort of power supply. When you're driving in the car, it's very easy. You can power it up with your car. Um, and if you're just going between a car and a hotel, no problem, you just plug it in as soon as you get to the hotel. Um, this this uh, cooler will keep uh, food cold keep its keep its cool um, even if it's unplugged for you know even a couple hours uh, it's got really good um, really good cold retention but even so if you're going camping for instance you need to have an alternative power supply uh, alongside with it um, it weighs 22.8 pounds and it holds 28 liters so uh, you're looking at uh, you're looking at basically like a medium sized cooler. What we typically do is we will put all of our food into this cooler because we know we can keep it cold. We can keep the meat, the temp it needs to be, we can keep the cheese and milk, the temp it needs to be, and we'll put all of our drinks in a cooler with ice. Um, that is typically what we will do. Um, this thing can get down to 32 degrees in just 16 minutes. So I just turned it on and it's powering down. And by the time I'm done with this video, it'll probably be uh, real close to 32 degrees. Uh, and then it will get down to negative five degrees uh, within 50 minutes. So it cools down pretty dang fast. Pre-cooling this is really no problem. If you've got an hour, you're good to get it down to whatever temperature you need it for. Um, and like I said, all you need is a, a power source because after that, it's extremely energy efficient. Uh, in eco mode, it uses less than 45 watts. Uh, and even on max power, uh, it still uses less than one kilowatt hour per day. Um, so it's got 28 liter capacity and it can be split into two sections. Um, so it's got this nice even divider down the middle. Um, we found that typically if we're just putting food in here, you can remove it. Uh, but let's say you're just going on like a very short trip. You don't need that much food. Put your food in one side, put your beverages in the other side. Uh, no problem. Um, the one con with this is really just going to be the handles. So uh, the handles for this, you don't have much depth to it. You've just got uh, just your fingertips in there. So when, when you're packing it full and it's heavy, that's a problem. It's going to be heavy and you don't have a great grip. That's the downside to this unit. Um, it's also got a little bit kind of flimsy plastic um, on this side over here where it's um, taking in air. Um, and, and exhausting the air for the refrigerating process. It's a little bit flimsy, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, but those are the two kind of cons. I think everything else, the pros, uh, really outweighs it. It's got a two-year warranty that can be upgraded to a third year. So even though there are some you know, minor issues, I think the warranty kind of offsets that. Uh, and if you're looking for a bigger size, like let's say this is a medium-sized cooler, you wanna go bigger, there's a 42-quart size, there's a 53-quart size, and then there's a 37 quart size that's got a dual temperature control. So basically freezer and fridge in it um, in one. This one, you can either choose to have it be a refrigerator or a freezer, whatever you want. Um, a few other things we should talk about here. Um, it's got two different power supply. Obviously it's got the 12 volt for the car, which is critical. And then it's got the standard electrical connections. It comes with both of these. These are exactly uh, what this comes with. So that's great. Um, and then let's talk about the capacity is uh, 40 standard cans. So that's pretty sizable compared to some other kind of medium sized coolers uh, that we've looked at that might only hold like a 30. Uh, it can fit 40 inside. And then size wise, um, it's actually, you know, pretty small altogether. If you look at it, it goes about 22 inches across. It's gonna go uh, 15 inches up and then its depth is gonna be at 12 inches. So it's gonna give you, you've still got plenty of room to like fit it into your car. Um, that's the great thing about the size of this cooler is it packs a punch. Like we said, we usually put just the food in it, um, but it's, it's not gonna be so big that it's taking up like your entire trunk of your car, which is critical when camping or just going on any type of trip. Um, so that's, that's, that's definitely critical. The temp range is between negative seven degrees Fahrenheit and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it can cool to really any, anywhere you want within that range. Um, and then the decibels, it's about 48 decibels. So when we went camping, uh, we would put this in a car at night. 
uh, and leave it plugged into a, an electrical, a separate uh, electrical source. And uh, we obviously couldn't hear it. When you take it out and it's running, uh, you can hear it a little bit. 48 decibels is not the quietest, but it's also not the loudest either. Overall, we rated it an 8.7 out of 10. That's on performance, quality and durability, comfort and noise, its value, its ease of use, its portability and user ratings. We combine all that together and we gave it an 8.7 out of 10. Overall, this Bouge RV 30 quart cooler is fantastic. <laughs>